Hi there, it's Wayne here from the Deep Blue Apps. Got a new um, template to show you today. It's the DBA Canvas. It's actually created in the Corona SDK. It's a painting drawing type program with a few extra options uh, thrown in there so you can make some fun apps. Um, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Okay, just launch it. Okay, the first screen you see is the home screen. Uh, from the home screen, you, we have an info page. I um, just told you a little bit about, about the application. You can have your own info screen here, obviously. And close that info. We also have a link to open up a um, URL that will open up a browser um, on your iPad. If you click that, uh, I won't click that for the demonstration, but obviously it'll just take you to your web website. Close this. Um, what I've set up here is uh, five different thumbnails for each different canvas that you can be picked in a slide like this. It's nice and clean, so the user can pick a picture. Um, what I've got, I've got a blank one. I've got some um, key line drawings here. Uh, I've got some puzzles I thought I'd throw in as well. Um, so obviously you can make it not just a painting app, you can do lots of different things with that. Um, so yeah, um, so from the slide you can pick the buttons and you can slide straight to an area. Okay. I'll just take you straight into one, we'll have a look. Um, let's have a look at Dinosaur. Okay, so the screen loads up. Default ink is a, a blue ink. You just paint onto the screen and obviously with your finger you'll be painting away nicely. To change the inks and the settings, you click on the palette down here. And it brings up the palette box. From here you can change the size of the brush. So you can have a small brush or we can have a big thick brush. Yeah. Okay, we can also change the colours, so a red colour uh, for the dinosaur here. There we go, yeah, super pretty, brilliant. Um, we can change the colours here by clicking on different palettes. We can click on the colour wheel here and we get a new mix of colours. So just click away to find a, a palette set that you like, um, and then you can use that set. Um, alternative, you can actually mix up using RGB as well. So there you go, there's a green. If I get rid of this, I'll put the green in. Yep, super pretty. Yeah, very artistic. Um, you can also change the strength and the intensity, so I'll bring it down a little bit. Um, and my green a bit darker, like so. You sort of get like a spongy effect. So you can create some different effects for your paintings and your drawings, etc. Yep, so very nice. Um, we can also we can clear the canvas, and obviously this will be a pop-up menu um, that appears on your iPad. And Corona shows us like this, so yeah, clear, and we're good to start again. So pick a colour, off we go, do some painting. Yep, lovely jubbly, all very nice. Now the other thing we can do with our drawings once we've gone, we can actually save them to the album. So if I click here, I actually save it to the iPad's photo album that you'll be able to look at. Obviously, again, in the Corona, it saves it to a temporary location. Um, but on your iPad, like I say, you'll be able to open that up in your photo album. Um, let's clear this, let's go back to the menu. Yep. Um, like I say, I'll put a blank one in as well, so obviously people can just draw their own thing here. So, um, pick a colour. Uh, obviously, people can just do their own thing, like so. Um, something down here, so click on the eraser tool, eraser, just sets a white ink really, and you can just clear it out. So, yeah, very good indeed. I like that, super. Um, um, one of the other things you can actually do with it, and obviously, that's a painting application style. Um, obviously, depending on what art you want to put into it, but for example, like for here, I'll put some puzzles in. Um, what we've got here, yeah, spot the difference. So you can pick out a colour. There you go, and we'll spot the differences. So, oh yeah, there's something that's different. Missing the tail off here on the end here. Uh, what else is different? Um, yeah, I'm sure there's other differences. It's, I'm tired, I can't see. So yeah, you can basically make different types of apps. So this could, it could be an app just full of all spot the differences or maze type games. Um, again, I'll put some maze ones in just to as a demonstration of that, so there you go, you get from one end to the other end. Um, so there you go, I'll cheat a little bit. There you go, there we go, yeah, lovely. Um, so yeah, very simple, very straightforward, um, quite memory efficient. Um, you can build, like I say, lots of different types of apps. 
Um, now I've got some word searches here, for example. So pick a colour. There we go, brown. Find the fruits. There you go, blueberry. And blueberry. And we've got no. What else? Oh, we've got banana. There we go, banana. And so on and so on. So yeah, a painting app, a drawing app, a uh, word search type app. Um, very flexible, what you want to do. Now another thing actually built into this is, um, I'll just take us to another blank drawing. I'll take us to a Garfield here. Now another thing I actually did was the ability to record your own voice and play it back. So what you should do is you hit the record button here. Hello, I am Test. Hello, hello, hello. Say so stop. And you play it back. Hello, I am Test. Hello, hello, hello. Okie dokie. So yeah, you can, lots of flexibility there as well. So you can have the children or whoever doing a voiceover for their um, drawings. Um, yeah, so lots you can do with the template. Loads of potential to expand it into a full application. Maybe do so you can add different backgrounds and borders. Maybe different stencils and shapes or paintbrush types. It's all very easy to set up in the code as well. I, I hope you will see. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Bye.